It is time for more Elden Ring. I went through my footage just to see um, that spirit spring that I was trying to think of where it was. I know where it is now. So there's that. Um, there's a couple of things I want to try first before doing anything. Um, so, I mean, it's like in this area. the area. It might even be this one. Hold on. Potentially. I'll figure it out, but it's definitely in this region. Oh, there you go. That would be it. Wait, so how did I do this last time? It's weird, because the other one was just... Unless this is the one that's actually locked. Hmm. Let me guess, dog. Yeah, okay. Never mind. That was the first thing, first thing I wanted to do. Right, well, now that doesn't bother me. However, I will... Um... Hold on. I need to start placing more of these around. Marker. I'm gonna say. I'll piss off. This one, I put a marker down. I think I put one down, actually. You can see it. Okay. So that's one. The other thing is. You know, I was talking about. Um, memory slots. I don't think I got the one from this one. I think I just kind of went past this tower and didn't grab anything. I had someone point this out to me, so... Hey, Lumen. Welcome. I think I had to do this, like... Oh, that's not right. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, no, I, I don't remember how to do this. It's okay. There's no threat. Okay, I need to spot out where the balcony is, but there's an open balcony. Where 
this up. I do the same thing again. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. It's worth it. It's a memory stone. I, I want it. Oh, there. It's here. Okay. I got it. Um. Uh-oh. Wait, where are my runes? <laughs> I think I put them up on... Oh, no. Alright, it doesn't matter. That's the balcony over there. But... Okay. Oh, <laughs> well, they're gone now. Why would it put him there? Okay, well. There's only 10,000 runes. It's fine. Okay. This is just real quick before I get back to what I was doing. Worth it. Okay. That's that. The other thing, whilst tracking that down, there's something I kind of realized as well. Um, hang on. Which one was it? There was one of these pathways that I didn't continue further down. I'll know it when I see it. It's not this. Yes, this is the one. So I got here and I kind of turned away. Because I wanted to continue up the castle further. So I never came back to this. Oh boy, the summon thing is here. Could use a bit of sun. What? Nah. Nah. No vitamin D deficiencies here. Okay, good. Torrent is usable. Oh, I don't like this. 
Like, that thing's gonna wake up, isn't it? The moment I step in here. It doesn't let me jump into it. So this thing is probably alive. One of them's gonna be alive. Clearly. Furnace Visage, what is that? It's a, I still don't know what it's for. I haven't found anything that utilizes it yet. What did I what did I just say? <laughs> what did I just say? I suppose if there's any time to try and take one of these out, it's now whilst I don't have runes. The last time I tried, my fragment level was like three, so let's see. Okay. Which one woke up? Okay, wh which one woke up? I don't- I didn't see which one woke up. Have I played much of this yet? About... 20-ish hours? Something like that. I'm trying to do the math in my head. About 20 hours. So far, been fun. 20-ish of the DLC, yeah. I started a new character. Because the last time I played this was, uh, yeah, in when the base game came out. So, you know, Souls games aren't in my normal rotation usually. So I needed to get reacquainted. So I'm trying magic this time around instead of the strength character I made the first time. How am I finding it in comparison to the base game? Uh, I, I think it's fine. Like, people have been complaining about the difficulty. I can understand some of the frustrations. Like, I'm enjoying it. There have been a few circumstances where I'm like, okay, this... I don't like this boss. Just... Twice. It's only happened twice. But the other ones, even though they're hard, they are pretty fun fights. Um, yeah, the, the dude I came up against yesterday was just horrible. I, I really did not enjoy it. So I, I used um, a summon to beat him. No regret. <laughs> That's weird. It didn't wake up this time. The enemies in the DLC seem to be, like, animation showcase enemies. The ones that are a threat. They just do, like, just anywhere between seven to a dozen attacks. And give you, like, one second of attack window, and then they do it again. So it's been tough to get used to that. Okay, it's this one. Alright, I tried jumping. But I jumped into it like an idiot.
they say the DLC sounds like for those who've mastered the game. I'm trying to, like, put it... I'm not the best of Souls players. You know? If there's a... A fight that's too annoying and I can't see any reasonable way of me doing it without hitting my head against a brick wall for a hundred hours, I'll use a summon. And most of them, they're generally okay. I wouldn't say mastery is necessary. I think the thing with the DLC is if you're struggling with it, you go around and you look for the uh, the shards that make your character better in this DLC area. It doesn't necessarily mean you'll succeed, but it does make it more bearable. Oh no, I am doing nothing to this thing. Use summons anyway. Kind of person that feels like everything is in the game for a reason. Why not use what's given? Yeah. No, for sure. For me, it's like it's in the game for a reason, but then it's also like, you know, I'm not going to be someone that's like, uh, I cheesed it. I didn't do it legit. It's just a weird form of gatekeeping. Oh, okay. So like this is, uh, yeah, I'm just straight up not strong enough yet. But I figured I would check in, because the last time I tried was a while ago. Good to know, still bad. I am the head now. I got flushed down the toilet. Like, <laughs> that was... That was a toilet flush death. Except it was in fire instead of water. I don't think mastery is, ne is necessary. Like, if you're using summons, it does make it a... A bit better. It doesn't mean it guarantees you victory by any means, but... It does help with some of the bosses that are really aggressive and you need... Wiggle Room. Okay. What boss am I fighting? Oh, that is not a boss. That is just like a roaming giant enemy. If you ever play RPG games where they have like a joke enemy that's roaming. And, you know, the player can't realistically beat the enemy. Until way later. It's one of those. It's just, yeah, that thing will turn up. I just wanted to try and see how my character's improved. Because it's been a while. But in terms of what I am trying today, today I want to see how much better I can do it the next main boss. Failing that, there are a couple of areas that I am going to explore that I haven't, I realized I haven't gone as far as I can with them. That's the plan. And hopefully no repeat of the boss I had to fight last night, because that, that was quite possibly the most frustrating thing I've encountered in this game so far. And that says a lot, because I, I beat Melania, and that was, though, you know, it was frustrating. That was frustrating, and I, I know I can do this, but just that one move she did was, like, insane to avoid. This was just straight up annoying. And um, that seems to be the consensus on that boss, is just uh, what it does is, is not fun. Saying that without spoilers, you know. Did I beat it? I did, but I used a summon. You know, I tried not to. Because it's fun for me. But obviously if it gets to the point where it's there's no reasonable way I can do it. Like it's just outside my skill level, I'll resort to a summon. But this was just like... Okay. So, the boss begins and immediately it's in your face there's nothing wrong with that but the problem is um usually when that happens i fire off you know my big attack to apply frost on it that's like how my build works i fire the big moon it inflicts the frost so then i do more frost damage 
so, you know, this thing was charging at me. I tried using it and it missed every time. And I was like, okay, maybe I'm just missing. But I swear, like, when I looked at it, it was connecting. Um, long story short, for the first seven seconds of that fight, basically the first move that boss does, no attack connects with it. And if you don't avoid that initial attack, um, you lose three quarters of your health immediately. And then, you know, you're on the back foot. And it's just ultra aggressive. So it's really hard to recover from that point. And the window to dodge, it just has this really massive hitbox that it felt broken. Like, it didn't feel right. You know, I fought the big hippo boss, and that felt fine. That had a very similar style. It was like a big boss that charged at you, but it charged at you in a straight line, and you could dodge it, and it felt fine. So this was the same thing, except the dodge just, it felt weird. Like, I, I don't know how else to say it. It just, it never, I could, I could pull it off like maybe one in eight times. Um, so not being able to attack it in the first, like, six, seven seconds of the fight, no matter what, like, I tried a spell. I tried straight up jumping on top of it and hitting it with my sword directly. And the game was like, nah, you're not allowed to attack this yet. But it's allowed to attack you. So with those things combined, I was like, nah, this is, this is not fun. And I just used the, uh, the summon and beat it that way. Which wasn't easy, still, but... You know, I wasn't gonna do what I was doing with the other bosses where, you know, I learn it properly and do it 1v1, because it's fun. Like, that... I would have felt better if I went for an attack and the, bo the boss did, like, a dodge. Then it's like, okay, the boss dodged. That's fine. It dodged. But this was, like... It's running at me in a straight line. Like, just imagine this. Running in a straight line, and you hit it with the biggest spell you have. Like, you see it connect, but it does zero damage. Like, it doesn't even do anything. So, that was, uh, poor form. And, you know, after the stream, I just did a little check-in on Reddit just to see what the consensus on that boss is. Just, maybe... I'm always worried that maybe I gave up too early. But I think I made the right choice given the sentiment around that boss is just... It's, uh... People did not like it. It's like in the top three of, like, difficult bosses. But not difficult because it's, like, you know... That's the thing. It's it's one of these things that's, like... If I look at what it does, it's very similar to the Hippo boss. And the Hippo boss was do doable. So it's not even a case of, like, I don't see myself being able to avoid its attacks. It's just I couldn't. Like, I was doing what you should do on paper. But it just wasn't working. It just felt off. And there's no other way I can describe it. it like, I noticed it right away. Anyway. Whoa. But we moved past it. I'll, I'll be okay. So, tonight, I'm gonna aim for the next big boss. Which, uh, I mean, I've, I've gotten a little stronger since last time I tried to attempt, attempt him. Okay. Usually... When it comes to those kind of bosses, I use my brother as a measure. Because he really enjoys the Souls games. And he's pretty good at them. Right, so you see what happened just there? Imagine you saw that happen, but then it did zero damage. Or you did... Well, not that. <laughs> not that. 
you did this. <laughs> that. And then nothing happened. And then on top of that, avoiding the attack, which if it hits you, you lose most of your health. That's what I was up against. Alright, anyway, back to the fight. Oh. I might be able to be greedy here. Hang on. Seems to have a window for this. What is it doing? Oh, that was greedy of me. I'm trying to punish the fact that he runs up to me like that. Ah. You thought the hippo was harder, but this seemed even harder. Sorry I'm missing, like, the messages, but <laughs> playing this kind of game, sometimes I, I forget. I get caught up in my own thing. Um... Should probably just do this anyway. So yeah, I mean... I want- I'm curious if they'll patch that boss. Because I've already done a couple of adjustments to the DLC, based on people. Well, this this double moon thing has just when you're in the air. quite at the point yet where I can cast everything with just the base. Let's try this. See if it's dumb enough to do this. Oh, it is. Doesn't matter, still hit. Oh, that's annoying. I couldn't pick up my runes because there was a message in the way. It's gonna heal. I'm good. Okay. 
Gotta remember to two hand the great sword. One thing I'll say about the DLC, I haven't seen many int-based weapons drop. Um, actually, speaking of int-based, just to have a little bit of fun, because I thought this was cool, and I can use them now. These swords are really cool. Like, I, I'm a fan. Especially this move. This is so cool. So, I might mess around with these for a bit. Uh, what is that? Oh, God, no. <laughs> how, lo how long did it take me to beat the hippo? An hour? It was about an hour. They're just, there's two of them down there. Just roaming like it's nothing. Okay, well, clearly, this is not meant for me just yet. Nope. Not that I can get down there anyway, but... Well, I got that to look forward to. So let's just see. Yeah, these aren't bad. I just gotta get used to their range a bit more. This, this is cool. They're useful for that. It's like pretty low energy spend to do like a, a good AOE spell. I wasn't so insistent on being a complete mage, like I probably want to just try and get the best out of them. Because I'm not 100% sure on how they scale exactly. Oh, well, what to do with my stats based on this kind of scaling, it's like, they scale off every stat practically. So I'm not really sure like what's the best way. They do more physical damage. But I'm guessing I'm not really using them in the best manner. Like, there's probably better stats that I can put into it. But they're cool. I like them. Everything that boss drops was, was really good for me. Dude, there's like three of them over there. Oh, 
Uh, okay, I'm gonna trust in my horse. Oh, okay. Where's the next one? Down here. And down here. And we're good. Oh, okay. So we're fine. We're fine. These swords are also better for horseback combat. Alright, we need to fail. Oh, piss off. Oh, it's these things. But is this going to be the same? Okay, hang on. Go back to spells for a minute. Hey, Laura, how's it going? Hey, they're all over there. Go. Alright, um, I'm gonna mess around with these for a bit because they're cool. Hey, Star, how's it going? problem. There's no sunshine. Or light sources. Oh my god, what the fuck is that thing? <laughs> okay, stick! I died right next to the thing. It's fine. Felt sick as fuck earlier, but doing better now. I'll... Sorry to hear. I'm alright. Just glad the week's over. Okay, how am I going to deal with this? I know this, this is overkill. Wait, it's, I thought it was there. Oh, it's there. 
Na. Ach. Okay, so this is going to be my life. Okay, I need to I need to switch things up. I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Oh, hang on. I got another memory stone. I'm um, not that. Okay, I can put in one more spell. What's gonna help me deal with this? I might have to bring this back. Because this effectively gives me a melee weapon. Dude! Okay, there we go. Alright. I'm gonna do that again. This doesn't bode well when the first room and the introduction to this enemy. Oh, you think it's just Yumitsu? Sorry, I missed the message. I don't I know Tekken. Just don't know Tekken as much. But I recognize the name. I was more of a Street Fighter player. I'm going to hate everything about this, aren't I? Yeah! What was that? Oh my god. Dude. The hell is... Sorry, this is for science. I need to see what this is. Holy crap. Okay, there's blood here. Hold on. Why is there blood here? Ah, uh, I see. This is just one of these things that's just... This is just one of these things that's classic bait. I'm taking it. Okay. Okay.
Ooh. That's the stamina medallion. That's probably useful. Am I doing anything fun this weekend besides this? Nope. I have to clean the apartment. Boring adult stuff. Not very often I do things anyway. You have a house inspection on Tuesday. Good luck. I don't have one. I'll just... General upkeep. Actually, I might go get a haircut. I haven't had that in a while. Let's see how it is here. Maybe finish editing a video. This thing is alive, right? Yep. No, it's dead. Okay. Oh, you're going to London? That's cool. But for, like, work or travel? Because... I mean, it's nice to go somewhere for work, but it's just often you don't get to do much. I heard footsteps. Oh, I'm just back up here. No, there's got to be more to this. Hang on. Thinking about getting on a train and going through Europe. Sounds fun. So, no hidden path ahead. Someone died here, why? Oh my god. I didn't I didn't see what it was. Ah! What the hell? What the what the fuck is going on? What's attacking me and from where? I mean, I saw one of the other ones, but it was... There. Okay. 
you're hungry. Do Australians taste good? Asking the wrong person. I wasn't born here. <laughs> hey, no thanks for the raid. Oh, thanks for gifting that sub to Ayuna. Well, I'm seasoned, yeah, but it's like, if, you know, you're after a Aussie Aussie, it's not me. Don't want to be eaten. Might be a bit of that. I mean, look, I, I classify myself as Australian, but you know, I wasn't born here. English was my second language, and I wouldn't exactly say my upbringing was Aussie in the slightest. Even my accent's not like you know. Oh yeah, how's it going? I'm gonna talk like this. <laughs> it's not like that at all. Yeah, I'm gonna talk nicely like this. Shorten everyone's name and add an Asa at the end of it. Anyway. What was my first language? I spoke Spanish for like the first six, five, six years of my life. And then English was second. I had to take, um, what did they call it? They called it, like, speech pathology or something like that in primary school. Because I was speaking too quickly and not pronouncing things properly. Like, my enunciation was terrible, and they were worried. Um, but yeah, like, it was, it sounds, it sounds weird to use the word corrected, but <laughs> that's... That's what it was. Was I in ESL? Uh, I was not because I picked it up quick enough that I, when I was tested for it, it was, it was fine. Like they were like, yeah, he'll he'll be fine in English. I had I was one of the smart kids. Oh, what is this? I can't see what's the, what these things rebound. Okay, um, hold on. I don't know if I have a shield that I can equip that absorbs magic. Basic magic. Physical magic, magic. That's magic. It's they're all physical, they're not. The highest number I saw was that one. And how do I do this? No, not like that. I've never used a shield before. So, excuse me if I'm not doing this correctly. It doesn't really... ...sort of worked. Right, look, it's... Oh, shit! Okay, no. 
this is where we run into it. Okay. I'm safe. I think. I hope. Okay. Yeah. That could have gone worse. It's okay, but see, now I'm curious because there's an upper level that I haven't gone to. Wait. Is this doing a lost? Is this is doing a lost woods thing, isn't it? If this goes down one more level, it's a hundred percent doing a lost woods thing on me. Oh, what is this? like this. This does something about me, but like I, if I see a big passageway at the end and there's big lights and a doorway that screams, yeah, this is the way to go. I, I don't go that way. No, th there's got there's got to be something to this. There's n there's no way this goes down as far as this. This has got to be doing like some weird lost woods thing. That would be four times that I've gone down. through the obvious corridor. Hmm. Do I have mana? Sorry, hold on. Okay, just in case something comes at me, I'm having my twin moons already. What did that do? Oh, there's lights. Why am I feeling like that was a bad move? Okay. Oh, no, this is this changed. Wait, what did it do? Am I tripping out? This wasn't here before. Hold on. Hmm. 
Oh. Okay, I can get that as a summon. Okay, but that's all well and good, but now what? <laughs> what do you... Oh, ladder. Okay, I'm blind. Okay. What do you mean? Okay. Well, whatever this is. It's time to go. No, this this is cool. Yep, this is cool. This is cool. Cool start. <laughs> Dude, I don't have the health for this. Oh my god! No. Okay. Piss off. What the- Oh my god! Oh, I'm fucked. <laughs> what is that? At that point, I had no no resources left. Like, I'd used all my heals to get down there. Where is it going to put me? Please tell me it's right outside the door. Okay. I don't feel so bad now, because I'll have everything. Alright, so now I know don't... There's no point in doing everything out the door. Okay. Do that. And that. Alright, we're ready. Just run immediately. Okay, for that. Okay, um, that was like a worst case scenario that. Greedy.
Oh, that's cool. I need to get one moon off on her, at least. Come on. I'll trade that blow to get the moon in. I got the feeling this will be good. Okay, maybe not. Feel. Dude, what is this boss? <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I can't swap spells either right now because it's not a decided grace. Um, I'm gonna try a different approach. Where are they? Let's roll. I want to see how these do. I can see I can see a problem with this. enough. Just stress testing. I wanted to see how much it did. The Marana arrow. The funny thing is, I have an upgraded version of that, but I can't swap spells at the moment. Dude, teleporting. Actually, not bad. Oh, 
Fuck. Oh, come on. The blades are cool, but the problem is uh, there's like a middle ground that I'm trying to hit, and it's hard. People really, really need to stop doing that, like putting these in front of the door. Or at least, okay, maybe not that. Maybe just the game prioritizing that over the weapon swap action. Dude, it's like not even a question. Look at how much look at how much damage that did to her. Two-handing, two-handing, not dual-wielding. Oh my god! Just... Dude, let me get close to this thing. Ah! <laughs> I didn't pick up my runes, did I? I didn't see. I, I don't think I did. It's not a hard boss, it's just the meat shields. Oops, what am I doing? I kinda have to eat shit to be able to do anything here. Yeah, runes are gone. to try. Like, I didn't have much left. Where's that? 
Oh, this might not hit. I'll be lucky if it hits. It hit. No, it didn't hit. Gemstones are in the way. As annoying as this might seem, this is infinitely better than the boss that I was facing at the end of yesterday. Bad as that might sound, like I'm not frustrated in the slightest right now. I'm not sure what the best way to avoid that is. Like, I'm not avoiding it. Like, I'm just trying to take not as many blows as I can. What the hell? That was weird. See that? Ah, damn it, too late. I don't do well against bosses that have necromancer-style abilities. <laughs> it becomes like a 4v1 at one point. Wait, no. 5v1, because it does... Two of the little dudes and then one baddie. Okay, 
Here we go. to eat shit. Otherwise I'm not dealing bonus damage. Okay. Phase two. This is what I mean by, like, necromancer fights. I hate them. Play more about this new arrow. There's nothing to say. It's the same, but now it shoots four of them at once instead of one. And it eats up more mana than before and takes more time to charge. But you shoot four of them. Unfortunately, I can't equip it now because there's no. There's no spell swapping here. Yeah, I mean, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. This isn't frustrating. I'd rather be doing this than what I was doing yesterday. can just definitely be a little cheap when it summons all those minions. Okay, there we go. Frost damage up. Do some cleaning. All right, have fun. Uh, I mean, I'm on the fence of like whether I want to try this or not. Like doing this without summons, I could probably already win with summons. It's just. horrible to me. Why is it the theme of every single boss in this DLC is when you get them to 50% HP, they just, ugh, they do something. Or it's just, it doesn't matter what it is, but it's effectively like a barrage of attacks coming at your way. Where like heal, doing cheeky heals is nigh impossible. Or anything with a wind up is just pointless. Uh, 
Oh, what's that? All your skills take, like, one second to charge up? Go fuck yourself. Do melee damage. Oh, come on. What's that aim? Trying not to wimp out here and just go for the attacks and just ignore the summons as best as I can. Oh no, they got that spell too, that's cool. I'm doing better just meleeing, but like... Maybe it's worth swapping to Twin Blades. I'll try one more time with the Moon strategy. But if I can't even land my Moon, like, there's not a whole lot of point to it. It just does not give me a window. I'm gonna do it point blank. Okay. Never mind. Summon thing is so frustrating. Are we already. St Dude! I have to do drive-bys. This is insane. Goodness, goodness. Closer.
really wish people wouldn't do that. Oh my god. Nah, it's so it's so hard. Like I can't pull off Dark Moon, and that's like my main main damage dealer. Okay. I'm changing it up. actually. Okay. Trying something new. Oh, I suppose I should rebuff actually. This still this is still applicable with this build. Alright, let's go. Stop, stop. Phase two now. No, that that was just that wasn't the main boss that was doing that. If I could allocate more flask to deal, which I can't. Well, okay, not where I am right now. Um, these swords are good. Like they, they're definitely doing something.
well, since I'm not using spells, this is going to be interesting. Where are they? There's no dancer gloves. Dancer's braces, that's the one. Probably missed it. That's the one. Ugh. That was actually, that was actually really good. Yeah, the fire dance is actually pretty decent at getting rid of that shit. Shit. Dude, hitboxes, please. Hey, Danathy. How's it going? I think I'm getting better results with this. It's just more reliable. As much as I don't want it to be. It's going to be interesting. Cool outfit though. This is now we're definitely on fashion souls. Oops. Oh, God. oh see that's cool. I want to see what this does to her. A little bit. I don't 
like this boss. <laughs> Stupid ass summon. The fact that it damages you as it teleports out as well. Oh, dude. That thing totally cock blocked me. But I got that boss. Double moons that wasn't working. I didn't beat him. It was too strong. So I walked away for a while and then fought a boss that was just way too frustrating. But I beat it with, with a summon. Like, I think that boss was single-handedly the worst thing I have faced in this game. Not the one with the double moon, but, like, the other one. The dude with the fire is fun. It's a cool fight. That other one, there was absolutely nothing fun about it. It was just like... Words cannot describe how bad I think the fight was. I have a lot of patience. I do. So for me to say that... This one is definitely approaching that. Here we go, phase two. I'm not sure what hit me. I don't know if it was the tornado or that thing or that thing did a slashing move, but I was trying to do the fire spin to get rid of the summons. That's what I thought was going to happen, but then suddenly all my health was gone. Something to be said about this DLC that has every boss has a sequence of attacks where it just it's too much for you to roll through. It's just like you have to expect basically 
perfection to be able to roll through every single attack. And the flow of, like, finding a window to be able to heal. It's hard. I guess it is the intent, but I don't know. Like, look at, the, look at that move. Like, I've tried so much to roll and get away from it, but I've been become resigned to my fate that, like, I'm just going to take a hit there, and there's not a whole lot I can do about it. Like, it doesn't kill me, it just drains me. Close to it. Nah. But both builds are having problems. <laughs> this would work if I had my stats balanced in a way that leaned more towards melee play. And the other one, the problem is I can't get the moon off to amp my damage in time. There's just no reasonable window unless I eat shit. At least this isn't forcing me to eat a hit. Combo. Like, 
like, oh my god, man. Each of these bosses have the exact same thing as like the moment they get down to half health, they start this like animation showcase where they do like 7 to 15 attacks. Where it just completely exhausts like any stamina you have. So there's no reasonable, there's like a very reasonable chance that you're going to take a hit. And then to top it all off is like your window to get cheeky heals in it just stops being a thing I don't think I'm fighting terribly. I'm trying not to be super greedy. I'll watch how many hits fly at me. Yeah, no, that's that's cool. Did you count how many things were flying at me? Including the fat thing on me? That was bad. Careful. I tried to dodge.
on the right side of things, these weapons are really cool. <laughs> I do like these weapons. These swords are awesome. If I was doing a pure melee build, I'd be having a lot of fun right now. How am I reasonably supposed to dodge all of that? Like, what? <laughs> I'm counting 12 of those shots that are being fired. That's what it wants me to do, like... Like, is it really this shit where you have to go light load? This is stupid, but like... Oh, so what, remove all your clothing so then... You're on a light load instead? It's just... That way I get more reliable iframes? Like, is that really what I'm gonna have to do here? So stupid. It just goes to show sometimes clothes really doesn't mean shit in Elden Ring. I should not be allowed to be doing this right now. What the fuck? Every single hit hit me. If I can lean into health, I could probably win this. Like, if I had, if I had more health flasks right now, I could win this doing exactly what I'm doing. The problem is just such a long trek to get down here. There's no side of grace. 
Like, for me to go back and change my flask setup, it means running through this whole dungeon again. But, like, the fact that this is working, I think, just shows how unreasonable this is. And I'm not even playing with heavy load, either. It's medium load. I'd understand if I was playing heavy. It's like, okay, how can you expect a character that's on heavy to dodge all that? But the fact that I'm having to do this to stand a reasonable chance, I don't know, man. And every boss is doing this. Is this just going to be me being naked for the rest of the DLC? Like, I bet I could probably get away with doing... Ooh, careful. There's something that rewards light gameplay. Dude, really? the wrong call. Oh shit. Dude. If I, ha if I had more heals, I can do this. 
I might I may have to run through the dungeon again, chat. As annoying as it might seem. If I can't get this done. Like what I'm doing right now has it can win. It can definitely win. It's just the problem I'm having now is because I'm doing a melee build and I'm not using this. There's effectively these six mana restores are going to waste. If I had even two more heals, I could probably pull this off. Like right now. It's just I'm worried that if I do go back to the top, I might not be able to make it down here with this. Greedy. Hold on. I mean, at this point, if I'm doing a light build, because that's the light, that's light. All right, that lets me be fashionable and light. You know, I, I could play the way I was playing and still be perfectly fine. Oh, what was that? Wow. Damn it, wasn't ready.
Oh my god. I turn around, there's like 50 million slashes heading in my direction. Okay, I'm gonna say five more attempts. If I can't do it, I'm gonna have to come back down here with this build. If I had the heals, I'd be able to get it done. Um, hold on. I'm gonna increase the camera speed just a little bit. The other thing is the wondrous physic. Again, for what I'm doing, it's like half of it is useful, the other half is not. The half that's giving me stamina is useful, the half that's doing spell damage is not useful. Get box. I love the part where he's backed up against the tree so then my hits are gonna miss. Move, thank you. too greedy. <laughs> oh man, this is not the direction I was expecting this to take. Sometimes you gotta adapt.
fat thing's so annoying. Watching so many things. Oh, I can do this. I'm trying to conserve my heal as much as I can as well. I'm trying my hardest not to hesitate, you know? Oh! Alright, take the hit. Probably a bad idea. Okay, now. break. Dry bark. It was merciful. Okay, this tree is safe. Wait for that, go.
Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Ugh. Alright, that felt good. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I'm going back to... Okay. You know, as, as cool as this outfit is... And what it just got me through. Like, okay. <laughs> Let's put away, let's put this away and go back to what I was doing before. But it's good to know that if I do need to pivot to a melee build, it does work. It would work better if I was allowed to, um... Yeah. Had I swapped my flasks at that point, it would have worked. There's my... There it is. Alright. Is that everything? Oh, wait. Not yet. Um, let's go back to... I can't. Oh. Where is here? Oh, this this is actually outside somewhere. Do, do I got some some shards for my efforts? No. way to make my character tankier perhaps that, that would be nice oh no it's oh, I thought it's the fingers again Dude, how long was I in that fight for? I have brain fog. Woods. It looks like there's a map up ahead. It's time for an intermission. <laughs> I just noticed it's been two, two and a half hours already. Holy crap, what does the time fly? But since I just beat a boss, that's probably a good point to split the VOD. I'll be playing this for most of tonight, if not all of tonight. So don't worry, there's more Elden Ring up ahead. But I'm going to stretch my legs and grab a drink just to step away for a bit. But if you were checking this out later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you do want to support the channel, just... Click the like button or watch me play other things if you so wish to do so. But yeah, we'll see you in the next one.